I was walking down the road with my mum and I was like, Mum, I don't think I can do this anymore. And she's like, all right, can you tell people I used to be a fighter? No, I'm a fighter. Well, that's your answer. You can't give up until you're ready to say I used to be a fighter. My name is Helen Harper. I'm an MMA fighter. I train out of Urban Kings. My team's in Glorious Grapplers. My pro MMA record is four and two. My main reason for getting into MMA was uh, from an abusive relationship. I had a friend who told me, you know, you, you have to look after yourself, you have to learn how to defend yourself. I disagreed a little bit, and then I was like, okay, you know what, maybe he's talking some sense. So I tried Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and I was addicted <laughs> pretty much straight away. I sort of started MMA pretty much straight after, and went to Thailand, and that's where I got my first fight. I train six days a week, five days a week I train twice or three times a day and one day Saturday I train once. I do five sessions a week of Jiu Jitsu, I do one a week of wrestling, that happens every week without fail. I have one session a week for boxing, minimum, sometimes more but minimum one. Either weighted circuits or cardio or a mixture depending on what day it is, five days a week. When I was fighting at 115, which hopefully I'll go back to, I was a lot leaner and a lot quicker, and my cardio was easier to improve, so I didn't really have to try too hard. Now I'm fighting at 125, I'm bigger, my cardio is worse. I knew that was one of my main problems, and so I've absolutely killed the cardio since then. Training, gym, cardio, 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 weighted circuits, throwing people around, everything, anything I can think of that will make it better. My main focus of my week of my life, every week of my life, is Jiu Jitsu. You're bound to get days when you feel like, I'm not improving, I'm not learning, like, what am I doing here? Am I really doing the best thing with my life that I really could be doing? Yeah, yeah, you are, but sometimes you're gonna have bad days. Jude Samuel is my head coach, and he's also Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, the first one in the UK. Jude, I've been with permanently since so for a year, but before that I was kind of with him and his friend Andy Roberts. Before that I was just with Andy, before that I was in Thailand, I think I top team. So, I mean, I've moved around, I moved to London to train at this gym. I was like, I have to be with Jude, I have to train with Jude, he's the best. I up and moved up here, two hours up north from where I was before. Like, okay, it was worth it. So, I have a really great team now. I'm quite particular with my sparring partners, I have to really trust them. It's sometimes I'll just bar kickboxing, sometimes just bar boxing. I've got a lot of um, grappling partners to, to train with. You know, sometimes I'll spar with Jude. Jude's amazing to spar with because he catches me with things that I'm never expecting and he never, he never hurts, but you're always aware of it. You know, so I love sparring with him because he never hurts me, very controlled, but picks me apart and makes me improve while I'm sparring. That's why I like to with him. I always feel like I've improved by the end. My boxing coach is Sherelle. I know that striking's not my strong point. I was training with a couple of guys here with boxing. Obviously they're great trainers, but the consistency wasn't there. So now with Sherelle, I have consistency. I have a really good plan ahead. She's helping me with every aspect of my striking. She kind of understands that I'm not a boxer, I'm an MMA fighter, but she's gonna make my boxing as good as it can be for MMA. I have this tattoo on my ankle, Jiu Jitsu saved my life. It really did, because it gave me a new, a new focus in life. I mean, honestly, before I started Jiu Jitsu, I was not happy. I was really kind of done with life, like trying and, you know, I just felt like a failure the whole time. I just felt like I was just, there was nothing worth living for, you know? Everyone still feels like that occasionally. And, you know, that's, you're just human, that's okay. but. I've never been as bad as I was then, since I started Jiu Jitsu. I think Jiu Jitsu saved my life is, it's such a simple phrase and so, so many people say it, you know, oh, Jiu Jitsu saved me, Jiu Jitsu keeps me sane, I'm a better person for it and it's true. Jiu Jitsu is, it's not fake, you can't be fake in Jiu Jitsu because the mats don't lie. Believe it or not, before I started MMA I was 85 kilograms and it was all fat, it was no muscle. 
you know, the mindset of someone that's that big, it's you're struggling. And I know that. And that's why I want to be a personal trainer. That's why I want to motivate people. I mean, you could look at it as in jiu-jitsu, like every time you get tapped, it could, you could look at that as a failure, but it's not really, it's a learning curve, you know? It's just completely different, obviously. Um, but no, I fail, I fail at things all the time. I get too emotional in training. I get, I get frustrated with myself when I don't get things right and I expect myself to get things right. I, I say to myself, you know, you put all this time and energy and effort and money into training and you can't even get this simple submission right. Like, what's wrong with you? So I have high expectations for myself. When I get things wrong, yeah, fail. But learn from it, get over it, deal with it, move on, get stronger, done. I think for me at the moment, it's about being as best fighter as I can be, and then whatever opportunity comes up, I'll be ready. I've done fights three weeks apart, and I've done fights a year apart. I just take whatever fight they give me, I have to sleep before the fight, it's my ritual. Always sleep at the venue, it's like my good luck charm. I have to sleep because I have to be like relaxed and in the right zone. If I sleep before, I relax and I slow my breathing down and then I do a warm up and then I kind of like meditate for a little bit, like maybe five minutes and then I go for a warm up again. It's like warm up, meditate, warm up, meditate, warm up, meditate. You have to be in that frame of mind where you're, you're okay with ruining someone else's career to further your own because that's essentially what you're doing. It's really harsh, but it's true. I think I'm a lot stronger than I used to be. Um, I don't think I'm there yet, 100%, but I'm there a lot more than I was. I'm a lot stronger than I was. I know what I need to work on. I know that I can do, you know, I can improve. And I know that how to improve. I don't ever want to get complacent. I always want to be working and getting better and improving and, you know, pushing myself as far as I can. MMA is pretty much my life. MMA is everything to me. Yeah, if I didn't have MMA, I don't know what I would be doing. I feel like I've come this far in a short amount of time and there's no reason that I shouldn't continue to go with the same momentum, the same journey. You know, I've got amazing people around me. I've got all the help that I can get. There's no reason that I shouldn't get further than I have.